feed these hungry uh, Steam Deck fans. I got some news for them. <laughs> Wait till they get a load of this one. Oh, by the way, hello viewers. Another beautiful day or night. Yep, hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good or excellent. What? I was sitting here watching the uh, Bengals playing the Chargers. Chargers. <laughs> but then I came across this. Listen to this. Linux six point Linux kernel 6.12 has landed. And it's a big one. It says here Linus Torvald has announced the release of Linux kernel 6.12. An electric assortment of changes contained within making it one of the most biggest kernel release for a while. In terms of in terms of features, I mean, I didn't sit sit beam uh, counting the code byte by byte in, in his message to the Linux kernel uh, mailing list uh, to announce the the release. Linus Torvald notes that the final week of testing delivered no no strings no strange uh, surprises surprises this last week. So we're sticking to the regular release schedule. But what ma but what made it in? Let's take a look. Linux 6.12 key features real time really real time kernel the headline features in Linux 6.12 is mainline support for prem uh, pt underscore rt this patch set dramatically improved the performance of real time application by making kernel process preemptible effectively enable proper real time computing as i understand it most kernel operation can't be interrupted then it says in parentheses, i.e., they're non premittable. Close parentheses, uh, but pre under, preempt underscore RT allows high priority tasks to interrupt lower priority ones near instantly for specific types of tasks. This improves response time and thus performance. Pre preempt underscore RT has been in the works for a long time. First proposed around 2005. <laughs> says here, uh, the route to maintain inclusion has been ongoing ever since, with part landing in a bit over many years due to the complexity involved in uh, pl uh, plumbing it all in. The feature is now available for 32-bit and 64-bit Intel slash AMD system, 64-bit ARM, and RISC-V architecture in Linux 6.12. Subtopic, uh, specialized uh, schedulers, Linux 6.12 also debuted. Uh, schedule underscore extension, which is described in its uh, documentation as a schedule, scheduler class whose behavior can be defined by a set of BPF programs, the BPF scheduler. This is a potentially very exciting development, as uh, LWN uh, Jonathan uh, Corbett explained. Then he says, the core idea behind BPF is that it allows programs to be loaded into the kernel for user space at runtime using BPF for scheduling has the potential to enable significantly different scheduling behavior than is seen in the Linux system now. Then it's a specialized uh, scheduler uh, task and advantage of this are emerging with one notable example focus on helping gamers uh, get consistently high frame rate out of games run, run on Linux. Yeah, and that goes for you Steam Deck nerds and you orange pie users. Anyway, says here uh, on a related note, the e the EV EEV uh, DF scheduler works that been underway for a while is now complete. Says other changes on the file system side, Linux 6.12 boost, XFS support for block size larger than page size, NSFS now provides more info on mount namespace. Then it says EROFS. Uh, able to mount file system image stored in files. XF file, XFS file system gain a pair of new and then it says IOC uh, T1 and then two brackets. Then it says commands. Uh, then it says fuse subsystem now support ID mapped mount. NFS now supports the lo Localio uh, protocol. Says here, uh, meanwhile, Linus Torvald himself contributed a new method for user space addressing mask and design to claw back some of the performance loss due to Spectre uh, dash version one, I mean V1 mitigation. Says here, uh, you might have heard that kernel devs have been working to add QR error codes to Linux kernel uh, panic 
BSOD screen as a waterfall or error text is often cut off and not easily copied for ad hoc debugging. Well, Linux 6.12 adds support for those uh, during DRM uh, panics. Then it says here that DRM, as in Direct Rendering Manager, not Digital Write Management, <laughs> BTW, these can appear during GPU uh, uh, snap SNA uh, fuss. Uh, memory issues are wonky display settings. Then it says a slew of new RISC V CPU ISA extension are supported in Linux 6.12. It said hybrid uh, CPU scaling in the Intel P state driver lying ahead of upcoming Intel Core Ultra 2000 chips and AMD P state driver improves AMD Boost and AMD preferred core features. Subtopic uh, devices. Every new Linux kernel release brings new drivers, improved support, and better compatibility for a host of hardware out of there, ranging from Wi-Fi dongles to the entire laptop to the entire uh, laptops. Among other devices, Linux 6.12 introduced support for one ARM-powered GameForce Ace gaming handheld, two uh, Odroid M15 or Odroid uh, M2 SBCS. 3. Sensor and 1x player gaming devices. <laughs> 4. Initial mainline support for Raspberry Pi. It says Wacom drawing tablets have often worked well under Linux, but with, kernels ver with, but with kernel version 6.12, they work even better thanks to support for higher resolution uh, scrolling and better touch ring uh, interaction, including support for activating two at once. And then it says there's also fan profile support for ASUS VivoBook laptops, custom battery uh, charging settings. Then it says in parentheses, fast, uh, trickle, etc. Close parentheses. On a new Dell laptop, fan control on the Lenovo ThinkPad Edge, and support for, Leno for the Lenovo ThinkPad X12 Gen 2 detachable keyboard. It says here Intel, CP uh, Intel GPU drivers can report fan speed in Linux 6.12. If a fan is present, of course, reporting works via HWMON with fan speed listing in the RPM. Then it says, uh, additionally, a SWAT of Snapdragon powered notebook pick up varying support in this kernel, including the Lenovo ThinkPad T14S Gen 6 and Microsoft Surface Laptop 7. Then it says here, other changes of notes, ARM64 kernel can run as guests and unprotected KVM systems, new features in the user space, perf tool, support device memory, TCP, firewire improvements, and new Rust uh, modules. Then it says plus, user, plus usual assortments of security performance and compatibility fixes. The changes I've pulled out to mention above are only a handful of the more interesting stuff. For more details on all of the changes, read through L okay, all right. LMW merge roundup one and two, <laughs> and it says install Linux Linux 6.12. Says here Linux 6.12 delivers some major new kernel features, expand hardware support, and continues to keep pace with new technologies. But how do you upgrade to to or install Linux 6.12 on Ubuntu? You can download Linux kernel source code and compile it by hand. Make sure make use of an official uh, third-party PPA or install conical mainline kernel build not intended for regular use not signed can fail to boot don't receive uh, security updates etc then it says Ubuntu 25.4 will use Linux 6.14 by default and the kernel version will get back port to Ubuntu 24.4 LTS user via the HWE earliest uh, spring says here uh, other Linux distribution may make this kernel version available uh, sooner but unless your uh, FOMO is too strong there there's no re there's no real reason to switch distro to get these changes you'll get them in good time and that is that so let's see what did they let's see what they, what did they do here oh, they, Let's see, and that's the end of the article. So they got the 6.12 merge window begins, and it's a nice.
nice little list, that's for sure. <laughs> so they say they got they got internal kernel changes, virtualization containers, security related, networking, hardware support. Um, then it has a file system and block IOs and core kernels, and then they have architecture uh, uh, specifics. Yeah, Linux 6.12 is here. <laughs> yeah. So um, the, St the Steam Deck should the Steam Deck does benefit from this. Let's see what they got on two, and then let's see they have. It's a lot. I'll leave both links in the description box. But six point twelve is here, so this should bring um, some nice updates to the Linux you know users on the. Um, Orange Pi, Steam Deck, you know, laptop, desktop, you know, of uh, Linux and servers. Yeah, mm. all these, all these updates benefits you. So they're all about keeping up with the time here. And Linux, Linux move right along. <laughs> yeah, takes time. What, what they, what? Up <laughs> in the beginning of the article, they talk about. If I can catch this, if I, they talk about it, it took them a couple of months before they found. I mean, the pre, pre uh, prem PT uh, RT has been in the works for a long time. First proposed around 2005. <laughs> yeah, they 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 come they they got it completed. That's for sure. <laughs> so yeah, um, and of course, uh, this uh, this helps our uh, game. It says uh, helps our. Uh, Specialized schedulers taking advantage of no specialized schedulers taking advantage of this are emerging with one notable example focus on helping gamers get consistent higher frame rates out of games run on Linux. So that's talking about the Steam Deck, the Orange Pi, um, for you laptop and desktop gamers. Yeah, this is for you. So. They put a lot of they put a lot of uh, a lot of work into this. That's for sure. And every time they bring out a new update, uh, it's to keep up with the times. I'll leave I'll leave all the links in the description box though. That's for sure. So they brought in what else did they add here? Let's see. They add they got the XFS support for block size larger than than page page size. Network file system now provides more info on mount namespace. E uh, R O F S able mount file system image stored in the files. XFS file system gain a pair of new I I O C T one and then bracket commands. Few system now support I D map mounts. N F N F S now supports for locality or protocols. Yeah, and then 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 it introduces like okay, ARM powered Game Force, Ace Gaming handheld, Odroid M15, Odroid M12, SBC sensor for One X players. So the One um, One X gaming devices gain 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 uh, gain, a, gain gain some um, help from this Raspberry Pi too. Oh yeah, and then they have for ARM 64 kernel can. Run as a guest on protected KVM system. New features in the user space. Perf tools support device memory TCP firewire improvements and new Rust modules. So that should that should hold you Linux uh, users for now until the next kernel update. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm gonna leave this video for y'all to enjoy though. <laughs> yeah, Linux. Uh, they're keep keeping up with the times and every time they come out with with a new update though. No. It's, it's to improve things. So now Linus Torvald can um, uh, can go back and work on 6.13 uh, or 14. <laughs> anyway, later video if you enjoyed it. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, those Star Wars Star Trek fan. Go. Peace.